Government at all levels are adopting strategies to break even in the face of current economic hardship in Nigeria. As part of this, the Castina State Government is set to partner with Korea International Cooperation Agency in the area of agriculture and ag rural development. A statement, the Chief Press Secretary to the state, Ibrahim Kaula, said Governor Diku Rada solicited support of the Korean Agency in Development of Information Communication Technology, ICT, scholarships and grant support in agriculture commodities. Let's hear from the Governor. That agency will be siding with the responsibilities of the development of macro, small and medium enterprises in the state. Because the larger population of my state, uh, in particular, are mostly youth. It is very important for us to, to, to support that population. And this population are the future of growth for, for our country and for our state in terms of uh, empowerment, digital economy, ICT development and all those kind of uh, initiatives and agricultural support also. When I came here, a robust program that you have, uh, mid-term mid strategic uh, strategy for agriculture and rural development, which is very uh, important to us, if or because agriculture is one of the major priority of my administration, we are focusing attention more on agriculture, especially extension services, seed production, provision of inputs to the farmers and smaller implement for the for the for, for injecting technology and, and mechanization into our culture. Thank you for staying with us. Jide the governor deploying ICT scholarship and grant support for agriculture for communities in Castina. Yes um, as far as it's concerned um, they are supporting the area of training and development of ICT will benefit the civil service as well as the Casino State Enterprises Development Agency. So the governor is uh, convinced that um, a small grant support uh, for the communities for, for in terms of commodities will help them in strategic planning. So generally he, he wants uh, small-scale farmers uh, to be assisted uh, by way of uh, uh, technology that will improve uh, the, their capacity um, in the area of crop production and uh, other, other things that they really need. It makes sense that he is trying to leverage on agriculture because everyone knows that the states of the Northwest, they are the kings when it comes to um, agriculture. Uh, major tomato belt of our country is in the Northwest. Sokoto, for example, accounts for more than 40% of our um, to, um, onion needs as a country. So if for example, you invest in onion production in, in Sokoto State, you are going to reap bountifully. Because at some part of the year, although we have to improve on the, in the area of uh, um, storage, but at some parts of the year, onions are very expensive. A bulb of onion today, if it's big, will cost as much as 500 naira, just one. <clears throat> yes, just yeah, one. So you can imagine a state like Sokoto State leveraging on that, and get you. They, of course, they will gain tremendously from it. The farmers will benefit. You know, everything is not rice, 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 just uh, rice, rice. You know, and rice is not uh, particularly even healthy, especially for people who have reached our age. You have to consume rice with moderation. But there are other crops that <coughs> can yield bountifully, but bountiful harvest for us. Rice is good. Uh, and they'll, and they'll tell you that <coughs> rice is brown rice. rice. Rice is rice. No, they'll tell you that the brown rice. Uh, is it, the um, uh, and <laughs> brown rice. The rice that we consume in Nigeria, how many of them are brown? Uh, it's brown. It's not, uh, it's just, there's just a touch of brown. 
Yeah. You know. Just uh, so to demarket them. Um, I'm not demarketing them because they continue to give me to eat. <laughs> don't take uh, cause don't <laughs> cause don't cause trouble between me and my benefactors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful to my benefactors who make it be rice. Oh, geez, your Gimo rice is very expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive, but it's cool too. You know. Casino now. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think the uh, governor Deco Rada is um trying to. Apart from agriculture, he's also looking for help in uh, the educational sector because he's um, seeking help for the state uh, UBE, um, the state universal basic, basic education, education uh, by talking to the Korean uh, uh, the cooperative uh, society to come to their aid. So that I think he's looking at uh, emulating what uh, Governor Zulum is doing in um, in uh, Borno uh, to also put some structures no uh, the northern states generally can see uh, they are trying to catch, catch up with the and uh, their southern counterparts in terms of education and i think uh, governor zulu has done well in Bono. and i think that's what Diko is also looking into uh, trying to marry support for the um, agricultural sector as well as for the educational sector because he specifically mentioned the um, uh, support uh, and funding for UBEC, as well as for small and medium scale uh, enterprises that could be processing the proceeds from these uh, uh, from the uh, farms by the time this all come to fruition. You know, um, I think Dangote has a, a tomato processing plant. Uh, up there in the north, that can. <coughs> it's not even the production now that is a problem, but because of the perishable nature of uh, some of these items tomato, pepper, and stuff like that, and onion, which yeah. we uh, mentioned earlier you need to be able to process them into pastes and some other stuff. To, apart from adding value, you also uh, encourage the farmers more. Uh, uh, so I think that's what the governor is doing, and I, it's, it's quite uh, commendable. I hope the Korean uh, KOIC comes uh, to its aid, of course, having visited uh, uh, Korea with some of its uh, key uh, uh, aids uh, for this uh, venture, which I think is, should yield uh, fruits for the people of uh, Kassina.